We must not be afraid to define our enemy. It is Islamic extremist terrorism. We're at the Republican convention in Cleveland, Ohio. A lot of the speakers so far have been talking about fear of threats to the United States, frustration and anger. Many Americans increasingly have an uneasiness about the ability of their families to live safely in these troubling times. So we're going to talk to some of the delegates outside the arena here about how they're feeling personally about the mood in the country. So Obama's America is against this country. And if it was my way, he'd have been gone a long time ago. You can't have a great a country if you don't have great safety. If you don't feel good about where you live, your kids go out at night, you got to worry about what's going to happen to them. What are the things that you're nervous about? Well, the jabs. We've been losing some jabs here and there. Unions have been falling apart and stuff like that. There has to be a point where you are you're accepting of your party, you're trusting what your party is doing. Has Trump contributed to that feeling of nervousness and people being frightened? Mr. Trump is scaring people who are used to doing what they want and not having to have the respect of the laws that govern our country. I'm pro-blue. I believe in our system. I believe in our security. I believe in our police officers. Um, and I just feel I feel protected. I feel protected. So a little experiment threw up a couple of things. The people here, at least, say that there's a lot of fear around the country. But instead of saying Trump's the one drumming it up, they think that he's making people feel more confident and more positive about the future. This is going to be a leadership, by the way, that puts the American people first.